In April of 1961, the United States sent proxy troops of anti-Castro exiles to invade Cuba. Now known as the Bay of Pigs, this disastrous military action was one of the darkest times of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy's young administration. Sensing a vulnerability in the new president, the Soviet Union threatened to recognize East Germany as a sovereign state. NATO saw its access to West Berlin being cut off. Kennedy mobilized troops, and the Soviet Union responded by building the Berlin Wall. The Soviet Union, now convinced that a full-scale invasion of Cuba by the United States was at hand, deployed medium-range ballistic missiles on that island nation. This action brought the world to the brink of nuclear war when Kennedy responded with a naval blockade. Although the Cuban Missile Crisis was eased through back-channel diplomacy, the Cold War was still very much being waged after October of 1962. On June 10, 1963, Kennedy gave his famous speech at American University, calling for greater cooperation between the two superpowers. How Kennedy came to this about face in 10 short months has been a matter of some historical speculation. Recently declassified documents from the National Archives have at last shed light on this matter. This is the story that couldn't be told. Until now, JFK meets Bigfoot. The pressure is too much, Bobby. The Russians, Cubans, Maryland, I gotta get away. I'm going camping. You mind the store. Whoever you are, you better show yourself. This is your president speaking. I'm armed. I commanded a PT boat in the war. I come in peace. You've got a lot of power, sure. But what people never think about is the your, uh, loneliness. You can trust me. You'll have your own private preserve. Posted. No hunting. I'll set it up. There are those in our government who counsel war. I see now that I must take a stand against them. For if our two species can get along, then I see no reason why the two separate and sovereign peoples of America and Soviet Russia cannot live in peace. We both inhabit this small planet. We both breathe the same air. We both treasure our, our children's... Oh!
We interrupt this program for a special bulletin. We have just received official word from Dallas. President Kennedy is dead. He was pronounced dead at Parkland Memorial Hospital in Dallas after being shot on a motorcade. And he never again tried to contact civilization.